All right. I want to tell you about something. For I don't know how long I have been talking about the Bilderberg Group, and everybody was telling me then, you're a conspiracy theorist, you're a nut. You're a nut. You're a crazy, crazy nut. I wonder what Builder, who? Bilderberg, what are you What are you talking about, the Bilderberg Group? You're always talking about these things we don't know about. You know why? Because you're just a conspiracy theorist. I swear to you, I've been, li- I've been hearing this. I said the Bilderberg Group, 1954. It's all they we. Everybody knows there is no Bilderberg Group. What the hell are you talking about? Oh yeah. Well, let me tell you something. There is one, and they're meeting in Lisbon, and now everybody's talking about it. So I want you to listen to me carefully to find out that no, I'm not just a conspiracy theorist, which by the way is a translation for nut. I know what the hell I'm talking about. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about, and I want to talk to you about it. But before we do this, I want you to understand something. There's been somebody who has been with me, and I like this man, and I like his product, and it's my pillow. That's right, my pillow. This man, you know the story. Mike Lindell's been through. He he wanted to build uh, uh, pillows and 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 a company, and they didn't like what he had to say. Fine. If you don't like what he had to say, that's terrific. You got a beef with that? That's okay. But his products are terrific. MyPillow.com, promo code Lionel. Look, I've got this link right now. Look, there's, a, there's even a phone number you can use. I kind of prefer numbers sometimes. I want to talk to people. Now, let me tell you what he's got very, very quickly. I want you to listen to this. If you don't want to, you know, uh, you know, uh, flip for a, a new mattress, how about a topper? These mattress toppers that are like getting another mattress. This MyPillow 2.0, they've got deals and from towels to, miss, to my coffee, slippers. Look, you don't need me to tell you how to go and look through the, the list, okay? Sorry for that little uh, glitch there. MyPillow.com, promo code Lionel. That's all I got to tell you. MyPillow.com, promo code Lionel. We've been with him. He's been with us. And we are loyal. And we want you to be loyal as well. MyPillow.com, promo code Lionel. Now let's talk about this. I want you to imagine that in, imagine that I told you that there was a, uh, oh, I don't know, that there was a, a group of, well, how about all of the heads of the NFL? Let's, uh, let's say I, they met every single year since 1954, secretly. And when asked about it, they would say, I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you meeting secretly? What do you mean we're meeting secretly? You're meeting secretly. We know this. We know this. People have been talking about Bilderberg forever. Forever. Alex Jones was talking about this. Before Alex Jones went crazy, <laughs> or seems to have gone crazy, um, there was, and I can never, I always get this fellow's name wrong, uh, is that, um, oh God, you know what I'm talking about. Was it Jim Tucker? Yep, Jim Tucker. Jim Tucker, I get him and Mars confused. Jim Tucker and Alex Jones used to talk about the Bilderberg Group before anybody did. And of course, Alex Jones is crazy. He's crazy. And I'm not necessarily saying that he might have gone a little bit, little crackers lately. But I looked this up. And I'm saying, there it is. And, 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 and the Bilderberg group, we'll get to them in a moment. But they said, we don't know what you're talking about. You meet, we don't know what you're talking about. They would actually go into places. Remember the one in Chantilly, Virginia, which theoretically, which people have purported, I don't know if this is true or not, suggested Obama was there and that everybody has to go and meet with these elites from all over the world. Heads of industry and science and you name it. And they all meet. And that the folks who, who want to go, and you can go down the list of people who've, who've been there. In any event. So what is it? It's a meeting of, as I said, politicians, kings, royalty, 
It started in the Hotel Bilderberg in 1954 from the uh, the Queen Beatrix in that family. You can go, just look, just look at the history. Go to Bilderberg Meeting. Look at what I'm doing. See what I'm doing? It's just called research. Bilderberg Meeting. And just, there it is. And, and you can see all the people. Oh, there's Jared Kushner's there. Since its inaugural meeting in 1954, the annual Bilderberg meeting has been a, a forum for informal discussions. By the way, let me tell you, BilderbergMeetings.org. This is the best part. When I was talking about Bilderberg, I would do TV stuff. And again, people would say, he's talking about these groups that I think he's making. Is that Bilderberg? What the hell is a Bilderberg? And I'd say, I'm telling you, there's a All right. What is so interesting and so fascinating to me about this whole thing is that after years and years of saying, we don't know what you're talking about, all of a sudden they said, yeah, we got something there. Yeah, we know what it is. That's it. Yeah, we meet. And there was a question of whether it violated the Logan Act because you had people who were acting sort of maybe on behalf of the government. Well, they're going to be meeting in Lisbon. And here we have, we have all this information right there, and you can read it. Let me just show you this one so that you don't think I'm, I'm citing some crazed type of... This is from CNBC, and it says that the o open AI uh, uh, CEO Sam Altman will join forces with key leadership from companies Microsoft and Google this week as a secretive meeting of the business and political elite kickstarts in Lisbon, Portugal. Bilderberg. All in all, you can go through and read it. Read your, read the stories. Just Google it. What I'm telling you is that this is a part of the motivation that people have been talking about, like me, regarding secret organizations and globalist cabals, globalist groups, people who work supra governor governmentally, supra. Yeah, not governmentally, supra governing, or there was a there was a, a wonderful word that described kind of an outboard form of not necessarily, uh, how do I say this? Not necessarily elected leadership, but still, nonetheless. It's always been a sense of vindication for me because of the people that have said, you don't know what you're talking about. You, you don't know what you're talking about. See, this is, this is, this is um, my legacy. I have been saying, and we've been saying for the longest time, that these organizations meet and that they determine what's going on in the world. Not the people that you elect. Not the people that you think are in charge. Not, you know, now, by the way, what, what, Biden does, or I don't know if he, if he goes or whatever, but the way this thing works is people would suggest that they would be at resorts, then all of a sudden they'd be asked to leave. They'd be paid, but they say, yeah, but we have reservations. Sorry, you have to leave. And the story goes, you know, wh why this happened, why they wouldn't book this out in advance, I have no idea. But then these people would come in with their security entourages and people like Tucker and Alex Jones would stand outside and scream and yell and act like damn fools. But you would see people driving in, George Pataki, Henry Kissinger, the Rockefellers, and they would meet. It was alleged, I don't know if this is true, but people for the longest time suggested that the Euro was hatched there. That the Euro was there, that it was a part of this of this this movement. And then we have Davos now in G7 and that sort of thing. But in the spirit of this, oh, and by the way, the Mont Mont Pelerin, P-E-L-E-R-I-N, this is the Mises group. These are the libertarians. This is their version. This is their enclave. And Carol Quigley and others have been talking about this for years, this idea of these supra-governmental extra jurisdictional groups of people meeting. So Bilderberg is alive. It's real. It's not just something that we made up. And people like me and others who have been telling you and everybody since day one to look up, we've been laughed at. And now it's like, oh yeah, by the way, they're meeting. That's the, I, I, they've got a website. You got a, when I found out they had a website, I, I would tell people, I said, remember, the Bilderberg's got a website. Who? Bilderberg. Who's that? We're back to that again. 
I can't believe the number of people who don't know anything. There's the government, there's what you think is there, and then there's the shadow government, the, 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 the ruling class, the, the uh, invisible government, the hidden government, the, you know, the, the groups of people, the invisible, the people who actually pull the strings. And, it's, and it, it sounds, to the unenlightened, it sounds like, this guy is paranoid. I'm not paranoid. I didn't make this up. I didn't read about this in Dungeons and Dragons. I've been hearing about specifically this group of people and how they meet every single year and how they give blessings. By the way, this is from the West. The question is, where is the Bilderberg group for Russia and China or maybe the BRICS group, B-R-I-C-S, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa? Now, I've told you about this. Bilderberg, look it up. Spend some time, research, be an autodidact, find out for yourself. It's critical. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this. It's so critical. And also make sure that you comment. I want to see your comments. I, I think sometimes that's the best part of this. So comment below as you see fit.